not getting here too much. Well, this one is very nice because we also make things from it, okay? All right? Something I planted here, when we are talking about how seeds are dispersed, there's one here that is dispersed using the wind. Using the what? Look at that. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? All those are seeds. They are what? So where they are going to drop, they will germinate. They will what? You see, it's like wool. Okay? You see, it is like what? Wool, eh? Where it will go, it will have to, to drop somewhere in the soil and it will do what? Germinate. Okay, germinate. This is an example of a plant whose seeds are dispersed by wind. Okay? How they germinate. Okay. Now, here, I have another two that are important. Number one, arrowroot. You have what? Arrowroot. Arrowroot is here and you, you plant arrowroot by number one. The same arrowroot, you cut the, the tuber and eat the tuber. What remains, you go and plant it. And it's here, we plant it in this grow. The other one here is the sweet potato. Sweet what? The sweet potato, this one, we propagate it by planting carrots. You plant what? And it's already growing here, okay? I am. Where are we? Now, I want to show you another one that we plant. Here, you can see this glass. This glass is what we call kikuyu grass. You call it what? When we are planting kikuyu grass, it is one example where we have two methods of planting. Number one. You can cut a piece and plant and it will grow. Okay? We have what we call the nodes. The what? Can you all do your fingers like this? The joint is called a node. It's called what? You have a joint here and a joint here. Between the two we call it inter nodes. Inter? Between two nodes. Right? So when it comes to glasses, when you cut you make sure that there is a node. There is a what? Node. When that node is buried in the soil, roots come out. Roots do what? Come out. So we say that you plant by cutting. Plant by what? Another way is that <coughs> we show you because you have it. We have it. It's here. <coughs> you can see it has grown some suckers. These suckers are called, when you, you remove it like this and plant, we call it a split. We call it a what? We call it a split. S P L T. You split it like that, split it many times and plant it and they all grow. So grasses have, in fact, green because some grasses also have seeds that are also able to grow. Okay? I have put the others are flowers. I have uh, potato, potatoes which we plant through, potatoes we plant through what? the tuber, okay? You just take a tuber and plant it, okay? You plant the potato. Hello, you are going far, you will not get the point. So potatoes are planted using the tuber. And once you use the tuber, then you can grow the potato itself. So this one very soon is going to also start getting its own tubers, okay? Right. Then from there, remember at the point we said we, we have the soil and the soil, each of the type of the soil can hold water, isn't it? How each of them can hold what? Water. So here, I want to show you. Higher. Are we all looking? Yes. 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 Here, in this bag, I have what we call the room soil. The what? Room soil. The room soil. This is the room soil. Room soil. This one. Yes. 
because of your books, I'm not going to ask you to hold that. This one, this is like red, okay? Yeah? Or kind of brown, eh? This is room soil from around. What? It's like black, eh? Look at this clay soil, it's even wet. This is what? Wet. It has a higher capacity of holding water. Higher capacity of being what? Holding water. But then, although it has a high capacity of holding a lot of water, when it loses water, it becomes very dry and it starts cracking. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you still can see it somewhere. <coughs> you can see it here. Okay? This is, you can see it's even breaking a lot. Eh? This is a clay soil that has dried. You see, it is very dry. You can see that? This is a clay soil that is very, very dry. Okay? So when clay soil. This is the type of an onion. Yeah, I don't know exactly, but it's an onion. Yes. Now, I want to tell you about the other type. We have, we have another type of red soil. This red soil here, this one here, is available somewhere in Muranga. This one, you see? This is some red soil that is actually some room soil. This is room soil. It is what? Room soil. But it is found somewhere in Muranga. It's just a volcanic soil. But its color is red. Yeah. In Gikoyo, where you find this, this soil, they call it Rutune. Okay? All right? Somewhere in Muranga. I got this one from somewhere in Muranga. Okay? Yeah. Then, this one here, which I don't... How many people have ever gone to Mombasa? Oh, good. We have a big number. This is the sand from the sea. From the what? This is the ocean sand. Ocean? The beach sand. This one is the beach sand. I brought it from Mombasa. Okay? It's very fine. It's like salt. Very fine. I don't want to encourage you for taking it because you might finish it. Okay? This what? It is soil from the, I mean, it is sand from the coast. Okay? Sand from where? The coast. This one is for pottery. Yes. Okay? And of course, I have some other, some other one here. What is that? What do you call this? This is chaco. This is chaco. Where do you get chaco from? How do you make chaco? Huh? How do you make chaco? How? Nobody knows how to make chaco. How do you make chaco? Chaco, you make how, like how? Say huh? in speak. Who knows how we make chaco? How? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Yeah, but simply, you make chaco by burning wood. Yeah. If you ask how to make chaco, you make chaco by burning. Mm -hmm. Now we call fan. 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 fan is an example of a plant that is non flowering. It does not give you what? Flowers. A flower. It doesn't give you flowers. Have you seen it? And here I have many types. I have this one. I also have another one here. Okay. The difference is actually the, the size of it. Okay. I even have a bigger one here. You see? All these are fans. Okay. They are all non flowering. Okay. We have some pre plants that have bones, isn't it? Plants that have what? Bones. Yeah? And they are very mealy. 
This is an example of a plant that grows thorns. Why do they grow thorns? Who knows? Why? Exactly. That is a good answer. They produce thorns in order to protect themselves. From who? From enemies, isn't it? You might want to plant, you see, like now this one has a very nice red flower. Can you see it's very nice? Yes. So for you to stop going picking it, it produces? Yes, thorns. And in very many cases, areas, okay? The ones that are, are growing in very, very dry areas produce a lot of thorns because they don't have the luxury of growing a lot of reefs. And uh, those animals they are like, which animal is this? Which one is this? Which, one, which animal is this? Elephant. The one that is like that? Elephant. Uh, elephant. Uh, yeah. The giraffe will be out there in the What? By the dawn. There will be what? Yeah, exactly. They will be pricked. Oh, you know a lot of English people. Eh? They will be pricked by the dawn. Once they are pricked, they stop eating them. So the plant will survive because it has protected itself, okay? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Then I have cactus. Cactus. That one is over there. Is cactus. This one is the one that produces very expensive food that is called dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Fruit. Very tasty. This is cactus. Okay? This cactus is the one that produces what we call dragon fruit. And I'm told that dragon fruit costs how much per piece? Who knows? Now it is 135 yeah? for market. How much? 135. Shilling? Yeah. Where? In Naivas. What? Uh, at Embu. I don't know near here where there is because it is produced in uh, Bere. It's in costing 3,500 shillings a piece. Dragon fruit. Okay. It's grown by this cactus. Of course, I have other things here like flowering plants and all that. Okay? For a container like that, put some soil and plant your own peanut. Isn't it? And you make your own yeah? garden. A kitchen is called a kitchen? Garden. Uh, garden eh? There's something else here. This one is called what? This is a fish. How do you make this? Who knows how we can make bricks? Somebody tell me. How do you make bricks? Yes, you burn clay. The clay you are having there is a good example you can use to make bricks, okay? For the plants, isn't it? Here I am making food for the plants. How am I making food for the plants? I am making food for the plants by introducing are the worms. Is producing what? Are the worms. I mean producing are the worms. This this one. Eh? So what I do, all the leaves that drop in this compound, I put them here and they are eaten by other worms and they produce what do they produce? Very good manure, very good fine manure for I will show you much more up there. Sitting here? Now done. That's, I don't have to open it. There, look at that. That one is compost manure. Is what? Compost, compost manure. manure. What I've done there, I have collected the leaves. I have piled them. And in between, I have put ash. A bit of it is dry leaves. A bit of it is green leaves. Put manure. I mean, put uh, ash, and it has already decomposed to make that compost manure. It has made what? Compost? So when you look at your books, your books will be showing you how you pile them in layers, and how they eventually rot and become compost manure. Okay? Now, here, the worms, and the worms will receive on it, and they become what? It becomes manure. 
Now, when you talk about our environment, remember I've said that we human beings damage our environment. Okay? One way is that the waste we produce. The what? We throw our waste all over. And it becomes very, very bad for our environment. Some of it smell when it's breaking down. Can you see this? This is waste that is smelly. It's smelly. I don't know who can smell this and tell us. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? It's smelling very badly, isn't it? Yes. Some of this waste include, include egg shell. And you know egg, when the egg goes bad, it produces very bad smell, isn't it? So what we do here, we collect all that waste, okay? We put it together, and then we separate it. We remove plastic bottles, okay? Then we also remove nylon paper, okay? And then we feed it to the walls. Feed it to the what? So now let me... And now... All this waste, the waste we have been talking about is here. Can you see the waste? Egg shell. Okay. Also, we have the seeds from mangoes. Okay. We have any other waste. Okay. Any other what? Waste. Any other what? We put all that waste together. And then, and then, we feed them on worms. These are what? Can you all see? These are earth worms. Can you see earth worms? Earth worms. Are you there? Can you see earth worms? These are the worms. Are the ones that feed on that waste from the kitchen. Okay. The waste from the kitchen are fed on by these earth. So we make our, ve our environment very good by feeding, bringing these worms here, and they eat what? They eat the waste. Can you see? You see they eat what? They eat the waste. Some of the waste they eat include uh, peelings from potatoes. Okay? Some of the waste include carrot waste. Okay? Some of it include banana waste. Some of it include cabbage waste. Some of it include, okay? Include paper. Like this. You see, this is paper. You see? Paper like this. You see this paper? We put it here. You see, these are pieces of carton. Okay? Pieces of carton. We put it where? There. Some of it include dropping from the leaves. These are leaves. Can you see these are leaves? We put it where? There. So once we put it there, we only create a very nice environment by wetting the compound. I mean, the, the we, we, we put a bit of worms and, and, and some water so that they feed nicely, okay? You put the worms? Yeah, the worms are here. These are worms, and they're good, they're many. Can you see how they're many? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what are they for, director? They were the worms. Yeah. Yeah. See, they are the ones that are eating the waste. The kitchen waste is being fed on by these worms. Can you see these are miscops? Yes. And this one here, this one, uh, this is the peelings from the potato. Because at Manjahe what we do, we do not put somebody to peel the potatoes. We use the potato peeler that is there. So that potato peeler is the one that peels, including what you normally take at school. So the peeling is brought it where? And this is, this is the one. And it's eaten by the worms. And eventually, okay, let me show you here. Eventually, after all that has happened, this is the manure that we make from there. Yeah. Can you see very nice manure? Yeah. Localize it. Yeah. It's 
great. This is great. This is, this is great. This is very nice manure. Very nice. Manure. This manure is made from the kitchen waste. And it's made by what? It's made by the worms. That's another worm. That's the I have done a bad stage here. That's a, a, a pupa that I've killed. Build a pupa stage. A pupa of an insect. I've just seen it and it's very bad. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Oh. That is a pupa stage of one of the insects. So you can see. So if in Wetaidi, if where? In Marava. In Juja. In Madare. If we collected all that waste coming from the kitchen and we put very many other ones, they are going to eat the waste and they are going to produce fertilizer like what? This manure, okay? This manure is very good, okay? Then we can also make. And let me pass that. That's a seed from the mango tree. What happens? Because it's very, very fertile here, it germinates. Can you try to remove it? Let me show them. No, you don't break it. No, you don't break it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. There are so many. People are very scared. Look at this. <laughs> the, the mango so it has already germinated very nicely. Can you see that? Yes, even another one. Yeah, they are many, they are many. Look at look at it. Look at it. And then, look at it. 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 Look at <laughs> they are very scared. You are killing me, <laughs> Now, okay, I wanted to tell you what else we do. When we put water here, the water dissolves all the nutrients. Dissolves the what? And then we tap it here. When we tap it, this is what we get. We get what? This liquid here is very rich in nutrients. Can you see a color? Very rich in what? This is a fertilizer. Is that what? That one you can use it to irrigate, I mean to spray your potatoes, tomatoes, and so on and so forth. Okay? Yes. I have shown you there. And they eat it. Once the worms eat that waste, they produce manure that does not smell. Can you see? That does not do what? Smell. Okay? So if you can manage, if I was sure that at home you can manage to keep a small container, I can give you some worms. So that you go and every time you have something remaining from the house, you feed the worms. And it does, you don't have to throw it in the, you know what you call the place where you go through it? Dumping. Mama tells you, oh, throw it out there. Dumping. And you see it, it starts smelling. You cannot even pass there like we take you. How many people here are living in the hmm? ah, We take you, we come there with the, the governor cleaning the, the, the environment every time and it's a lot of fuel. Because you don't care. Now, the last one I want to show you. Now here, out of the waste that is made by animals, made by what? Cows and pigs and goats and all that. We have already shown you goats, isn't it? Some of the waste that is made by animals. Because we have said living things do what? What do living things do? Yes, they produce electricity. They excrete. Is that what we have been saying? So that, those that can, uh, they grow, they reproduce, they die. Eh? 
They are great. With those qualities, those are living and living beings, isn't it? A cow, a goat, a pig are living animals. They are living things. A cow produces some of this that waste, and that waste is what we are using here to produce grass. To produce what? And that is what is called bio gas. The gas that is produced, and we use it for cooking. We use it for what? Cooking. And we have a banner that uses that gas. Okay? Apparently, this one is only going to start tomorrow, but it's already full of gas. There's gas here. So what we do, we bring the animal waste and we put it there at that end. Okay? Let me, let me go there. Let me move there. Come here. We feed where? We feed it here, okay? When we put it here, are you all seeing? Okay? If it goes inside there. And uh, can you stop? Pacha, pacha. It is, it is uh, converted by some bacteria that inside there produces a gas and that gas passes there all the way to the kitchen, okay? Yes. You can see it is stinky. The one that's coming on the other side is not smelling, okay? Let's move out now. No. Uh, then the teacher should organize. When you go to the left, you might see these locks. These are the volcanic locks. Eh? Okay? Usually they are very light. Eh? I know at home you might find that uh, your mother has bought some stone for scrubbing the feet, isn't it? That stone is like this, it's coming from the left, Valley, okay? For scrubbing. Some people have very hard soul, isn't it? They scrub it eh? with this kind of. So this comes from. And it's very light stone. Okay? That's why it is here for showing you. And then the last one. Let me put this one here. Type of lock which we call send. Said what? Said men. Tari. Tari. I think they will cover that somewhere. Okay? When you get to that, we can show you later when you come. Okay? But I have all sorts of so, so there are these stones here. I have all of all, all of them here. And uh, this is also a very important one. You might find it here and think it's not necessary. This one. Can you see it's now smooth? It's very smooth. It's like a seed, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Very smooth. There are very many around. You can see them. This stone is used by water. Used by what? Water. To cause soil, soil what? Erosion. Yes. So, in the river, when this is turned many times down the stream, it goes wearing the the bed, the river bed, isn't it? It goes wearing it. And when it is wears it, a lot of loose soil is taken down, 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 down to the valley. Okay. Yeah. So this one, you can call it a tool of erosion. A tool of what? Erosion. Just like can you, like you can take a hammer or like you can take a panga or, you know. This Nest. You're seeing them. Are you seeing many of them? Yes. Nest, huh? These are houses for who? Do you know what you call the bird that lives in here? This one is called the weaver. Called the weaver, weaver. We have the weaver bird here, which lives here. We have very many of them here. They live where? This minute I've sent them to go to the field. They have been there. So when they, it's getting dark in the evening, they'll come back. They'll come and sleep where? Okay. So have you seen the homes of my birds? And there are very many others around. I think I have very, very many. Uh, I don't know. Have you ever seen the home of a sparrow? Who knows a sparrow? 
a bird that goes like this with an open beak, collecting all the insects in the air. Who has ever seen that bird? Skoda? Sparrow. Who has ever seen it? Sparrow? You have ever seen a sparrow? Let's see what else is here. Let's make noise once more. I think they are gone. They are not here. They live where? They live here. This is the homes for my sparrows. I have some sparrows that live with me here. They live where? Okay. They are gone. Sparrow. You can go check in the dictionary or when you go home, tell your parent to give you the phone and you check what bird a sparrow is, okay? A sparrow goes hunting for food with a beak open like this, okay? So any, any insect that comes across, it's swallowed, eh? It's called a sparrow, okay? So I have the houses for a sparrow here. This one, two, and then the other side I also have another two, okay? Let me see my very Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See. And then you match there and go and ask questions. How the lesson was? Have you seen it? Yes? Yeah. 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 At least you see them flying, isn't it? Let, let, me, let me show you what I do. Mm -hmm. Teachers can carry that. The children can enjoy seeing the the home of a wasp. Okay, the home of what? Wasp. A wasp. Eh? You can see it produces something to make sure that it hangs it somewhere, isn't it? Okay. So all those holes, eh? each one carries an egg. A what? Yeah. No, it carries an egg, and then they uh, grow into. Okay, I'll give you that. Don't, don't break it fast. because I want the teacher to show you. You learn up to this, eh? okay? Mm -hmm. Have you learned something? Yes. Any question so that I need? Go back to you. Or you have to the 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 what? So 
so they can go write a story. They can write many stories and please mark them. Mark what they have seen. You know, and if you look at the book, the environment book and agriculture book, I have incorporated a lot of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And us as learners, we are very happy to know most of the things that we never knew. Have you ever seen a millet growing? No. Huh? No. You only find it in the steel shops, do you? Yeah. And now we've seen them. So what do we say to our director? Thank, Thank you so much. Welcome again. Yeah. When you come, you find out how my seeds have grown. A lot of seeds planted.